Hello everyone and welcome to Plank Crafter, with Necrovon Cortex, here, playing for your amusement. Obviously it's not Necro speaking at the moment, but instead one of his friends, World Internet Focus Interaction better known as Wife. Because this was recorded from a new software, Necro can mute certain sources such as game audio, mic and music. In this case, he was a fucking idiot and forgot to unmute the microphone for a couple of minutes. Because the recording is so old by now, he also have no idea what he meant to say anyways, so he begged me to give my best guesses so here we go. He now discovered there are customization to the game if you start a new game, which he is not going to do of course. Now he's just fooling around with the cam options like a child who just discovered you can add colors to PowerPoint. He's doing the blah 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 with a lot of body language cause that is really saying something without the audio, especially when you're waiting for the loading screen to catch up. Right here, he's for sure saying something about the new updates and saves as always, what a nerd. He's either admiring the view, or smack talking yo mama, I don't know. Now chat told him his mic was off, so he decided to react to it, thanks on his behalf to whoever was bothered to watch this nerd streaming. Well, for fuck's sake, okay, that's my fault. Well, okay, I suck at this. You would think I would know how the hell to do this, but thank you very much, John. Thank you very much. Now, what I was going to say here was, we have technologies available. Yeah, we have technologies available in the game, which weren't available earlier, but now we're just gonna check. We apparently got smart fabric because smart fabric is definitely a thing. And then we got a kitchen thing, Majigi. Is there anything else available? There is! Some kind of map. Probably a tool. Wow, there's so much technology available. And now there isn't. Great. That means all of these will have to wait for the next update, if there's ever going to be another update, but hey, there is. This game is too well built to not have an update in the future. So we got a new piece of tool available, it was some kind of minimap I think. It's probably not available here, it might be upstairs, let's see, let's see, let's see, what do we, it's not here either. Where the hell is that thing? I saw a new tool getting available. Well, okay, I apparently got a new technology but I cannot deploy this new technology in question so I guess it doesn't really matter. So as an alternative here, we are going to look into the locations that in the meantime have become available to me. Which weren't, uh, weren't earlier, I have something new to show us. And well, I actually have the locations and I have noted down the coordinates for it because I... F that was a beep, that was actually kind of cool. Nice. There we go. Uh, we have a save in a wreck that is at 1285, 14, 1452. Right, so let's just see. 12, that is this way, 1200. And then it's a 14, that's an altitude, and then it is way over here. Right. So basically we're just going to be flying this way for years and 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 years. Nah, it shouldn't take that long. The map's not that big, but maybe I even have a teleport out there somewhere. I never remember where the hell I put my bloody teleporters. They just kind of... It's almost as if they move around. Or it's almost as if if there is a major update to the game, they move it around for me. Oh. I think I remember this one now. If nothing else, I know there's also something to this area because we can go in here now. Remember that accumulation or adaptation we have up there, the building we have on top here? We can go in there now. I have been wanting to do that since I had the ability to explore this wreck because they decided to break one of the windows. And better yet, they decided to put this thing so you could climb here if you didn't have the jetpack. So, finally, I also feel like they have added a lot more stuff here that used, didn't used to be all this stuff. And I know that I need uncommon lavas because I am building a project. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Ooh. Resources and Terra Tokens. Kind of a weird name to call them, but hey, I guess that just helps. Um, we cannot go in there, but hey, that's just something for the next update where they can decide to do this. 
And let me just note, we are at... We're kind of doing them a bit out of order, but hey, I just ran past this one, so shut up about it. Right. I'm stuck on a staircase. I have never tried being stuck on a staircase. I've fallen down a staircase, but that doesn't count. I was drunk, and I did not spill my drink on the way down, which is like the most important factor of the falling down, I would say. Right. We have an oil wreck, which is at 12.85. Why else 12.85? That is actually backwards. And then it is at 14.52, so... Fourteen fifty-two. What? But that's the same wreck. Did I do the numbers wrong? Yeah, I did. Oh, my mistake. It was this one. God damn it! I'm a fucking fool. But I also know down that there's a safe in the wreck. It seems. I think. Oh, it is the same. God damn it. I, of course, I'm an idiot. I noted this wreck down twice because it has two things to show. One of them was the window. The other one was something inside the wreck because implementing new stuff is like how you keep on implementing stuff. I don't know. Something that makes a lot more sense when I'm not saying it. Also, that rain is very loud on my end. God fucking damn it. <sighs> Why must I be a do fool about this? wasn't here. Wasn't here either. Wait, what was it? Hmm. No, this is just cool quarters. A lot of cool quarters. It must actually be very annoying to sleep in these cool quarters. You have like zero private life. You are literally sleeping in a corridor where people walk in and out at all times. There was supposed to be a safe in this wreck somewhere. Oh, well, will you look at that? What a fuck ton of terror tokens. Sure, why not? I hope this doesn't break the game. I actually kind of wish I've done these in orders now because they're kind of all over the place. That one I have done too because that was the window I spoke about. Then there's an oil wreck, but that's literally on the other side of the map. That one is near, but it's also still pretty damn far at the same time. That one is on the ground somewhere. But it's the nearest, so I guess we'll go for it. We have an oil wreck at 1922-7-463. minus seven, four hundred sixty-three. So let's see, that is... Oh, yay, my thing is back. Over here and over here? Let's see, we're going north. What does this do on the thing? So it's this way. But what about west? And then it's this way. So there's supposedly something over here. And way out there. Unless I... No. Yes. Unless I was an idiot about this somehow. Which I probably was knowing that it's me who made it. Because it should be way over there. East. Oh, right. I was... Oh, why? Why did I think there was a wreck when it clearly says it's a cave? And I remember what I wanted to show in that cave. It's this one down here. Why am I this foolish about it? What I wanted to show was the fact that ice has apparently reappeared. It used to be melted, but then it decided to be reappear for some reason. It's actually not very exciting, it's just weird that ice melts and then it reappears. But to be fair, if you look at the numbers, this planet is still fucking cold. Yeah, this one is set at a very high temperature that we're not going to reach anytime soon. And well, it's actually not very high, it's just not going to reach it anytime soon. But for all I know, there could have been something underneath the ice, like a secret area or something. That would be very interesting if they did that in the future. So hooray, that's another one I can note off. Then we have something at 1610 72 620. So that is, that is, that is, that is, well first of all to the south. And then it's very far in one direction or another. Not the band, something else. 
And what are we looking for? We are looking for a safe that has appeared in that huge portal ring thing. There's apparently another safe there now. It's fun to see how the game just developed, because I've played it since, since like uh, 045. It's fun to see how the game just matures, brings more content, and it never gets boring. Even when you just sit around, it's just fun to use or to see all the numbers go up. The problem is Terra Index at this point doesn't really matter because no current technologies are hooked to it, but in the future they might implement something. Maybe. No, I'm just gonna keep it. Actually, I could, I could, but I can't at the same time. No, never mind. In here somewhere there's supposed to be a safe, because I found a safe and I decided not to open it, because... Reasons. I have good reasons for everything. Oh, look at this. Hooray! Yeah, the fact that I have all the technologies in the game kind of says that I have been around for long enough to get all the technologies in the game. We actually need to almost go back and empty my inventory before we do the thing and go for the next coordinate. Ring safe. There we go. Then we can go to... Where the hell did I come from? Where did I go? Where did I come from? Can I, Joe? Right. Back to base, empty the inventory, go for the next coordinate. Which is... I have referred to as cave. And it is somewhere far to the south, very far to the south. It's actually so far to the south that maybe we shouldn't go for that just yet. Maybe we should rather go for one of the other things. Why must everything be so goddamn far away from me? I think kind of with bug my last session of this. All my trees had disappeared. Despite how many tree spaders I've put around, they just disappeared. They weren't here, they weren't loading in or something like that. And I actually got to enjoy the freaking view that I started out making. Which I since then have of course spoiled because there's trees everywhere. I need a box to put these in. These energy fuses. Or could I sell them? I actually can, but there's no reason to sell because I already have like 22,000 right now. And I don't know where the hell to put this. I need another place to put my stuff. There we go. Definitely accurate. And then just in case it matters... That one... That one... That one... I guess I can't make the other types that should be available because I haven't done that yet. There we go. And set it to priority one. Yes! I am not a dillweed about this. Definitely not. Not yet at least. That comes later. I needed a lot of these uncommon lavas, but I don't remember what I needed them for at the moment, so I'm just gonna put it in a freaking box and hope it doesn't suffocate in the box. And now I have so much grass that I honestly need to make the grass spreaders. Why do I wanna make the grass spreaders? Because they feel like I'm doing something with my life. Build out grass spreaders, go and then go for the next coordinate. We're already three down, so there's only three more to go. And one of them is going to take a while to explore because that's that's one is a bit special compared to the rest. It's an entire new biome they decided to implement into the game. Because if there's one thing that was needed, it was freaking volcanoes. Definitely. You can never have too many volcanoes in a game like this apparently. Does that also mean that it is possible for me to make geothermal energy? That would actually be very interesting if they did it like that. Right. Anyways, we have our two beans, so I say we're actually ready to go on an adventure. We're going for the next coordinate, which I honestly don't remember what is. It's a lake? No, it's a cave. No, that's not the one I want to go for. I want to go to for a wreck with a save in it, which is at 252, 14, 10, 71. It could actually just be that one right up there. Yeah, it probably is judging by the numbers. That actually makes sense. But the altitude is a bit weird because it's only 14. And we're at 30 something, so it, no. Unless it's like up somewhere or down. No, it must be down. Or maybe I got the number wrong. 
The saves don't really offer the resources we haven't seen anywhere else, but I guess it's fine. I mean, they give blueprints, but I literally have an entire box full of blueprints. Just waiting for the game to implement stuff so I can use my blueprints. I think. Yes, I did this, I did that, I did everything. I've done everything and everyone in the game. There wasn't a whole lot of our people, but... Oh! Hello there! Somehow I've overlooked you guys. Come with me. You're coming with me. We're going on an adventure. Right. Um, that can't be it. There's supposed to be something up here. Right? Yeah, because I've noticed this as a wreck and a safe and a wreck. But... What the hell? Maybe, but we're also way too high, so is it underground? Well, we have come so far with absolutely no luck, so how about I just stay over here? And then think about that one later. That one specific coordinate later, because it was the right coordinate, but we were way too far up. It's supposed to be more down. Apparently, am I actually see where are we now? We are at minus, so we have to go to... That one. The next one we're going to is minus 968, 61 or 91 altitude, 514. That's a cave. It's the one under the waterfall because they changed the layout inside and there are more resources in here now. And something I somehow managed to completely overlook in the last episode is the fact that there is stuff in here. A lot of stuff in here. Yeah, I somehow overlooked all these tiny things that are supposed to be graves. Last time I was in here, I even looted the entire area. But yeah, it looked different back then. That wasn't there. At least I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Nothing to that. Money for me, I guess. Thank you. The next location is at minus 1351. Uh, 96. 422 which is this biome and I almost dropped myself into lava that was very well done very well done indeed let's not do that we basically went to what I can only describe as hell and I need to take a screenshot of that because of course I did Wow now this is kind of where you wouldn't want to walk at least not without a suit and we can apparently step up Ooh. Oh, these are these rare resources. They must be worth a fortune here. Actually, I don't know if they have any sort of trade value, because if they do, we could just basically take this and just grind it forever and ever and ever. Yes, we figured it out. Look at this area, man. An entire new area to explore. I'm kind of getting vibes from that old game I played, Necrovision, where you basically go to hell in a first world war scenario and I'll fight your way for your sanity or to rule hell, depending on, well, how powerful you decide to become and which difficulty you play on. I should really revisit that, re that game at some point, because it was actually a fun game, an active game, but it kind of ran like a potato. At least it felt like it. Frame rate was awful. Now, 1300, or minus 1300, which means we have to go further this way. And there's an wreck. One I have not explored, in fact. I haven't got into it. Myself. We're about to do that. I've walked around out here, but I haven't been inside this wreck. Though, I did notice one thing. And let's see, is this the one? This is not the one. One of these engines are obviously still alive. It seems. Not that it matters, it's just a weird thing for the developers to have overlooked. Now, let's look here. What do we have? Remember, I haven't been in this ship either myself. I was curious and looked around it, but I haven't been inside it before. Hmm. Can't go in there yet. No, there's nothing over here. Oh, there's a box. And a letter. And a lot of stuff. All of this has some kind of value. If nothing else, it can be sold. 
So we went up one floor. This one probably needs the fusion reactor core thingamajiggies or something. Yeah, it needs two of them. Now I kind of wish I had brought a teleporter then. Methane canisters, that's basically just farts. That's a flower, don't need that. This is some kind of laboratory it seems. Nice, but where there's buildings there's lore. Well, where there's wrecks there's lore, I guess. Is this where we came from? Man, I could get fucking lost in here. Let's not go there yet. This terminal looks out of place. All right, I get you. What is this? This is this is the same plant. Hmm. I guess everything in the future is us pin it over in neon so it stays or keeps on lighting even if it goes dark or the ship goes dark. That actually makes a lot of sense, I guess. It's just too bad they didn't also put some of it on some of the walls. Can't break down this one, got it. Right. Let's actually try one of the staircases, well not staircases, one of the tubes then. But now we already have another mission object, so I'm actually going to note it down so I don't forget. Build two cores and a teleporter, because that's what we're going to need if we're going to explore this area repeatedly. This is also like the only place where I can't reliably have access to water. So I should actually probably bring a bottle of water whenever I go here. Some kind of tree. Oh, it's one of those. Nice. Worthless, but one of those. Space food. I haven't encountered that in like since I started. Hmm. There's actually no advantages to space food other than you can sell it, I guess. Right, this was the laboratory. This is a case that leads to this place, which I have not been in before. I haven't seen any of all this before, that's kind of the thing. Yeah, we definitely need that thing. Wow. That's not what I want to click and you knew it again. Actually, I could break this one down and set it up with the logistic grid. Not now, I'm gonna do it in a moment. I'm just gonna have another look around because there might be something of interest. Space food! Give me that nom nom nominous. Right. Ooh, oh, oh, what are you? Oh, you're empty. God damn it. I was hoping for a technology card. Okay, so this all loops around. I got it. Yes, this all loops around. Got it. But we're already full on inventory, so unless there's like something very interesting here, we already now have to go back. And we do have to go back. We went up, so we're supposed to go down somewhere else. Must be this one. I somehow managed to confuse myself with everything I walked by. Uh oh. Oh no, have I been, have I confused myself so much that I can't go back? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, that's that way, so... Hmm, wait. Hmm. Uh, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Where the hell did I come... Where, where am I? Where did I come from? Where did I go? Where did I come from? Cap Nigel. That's not well I've been there. That's a door that's closed. This is definitely somewhere I can go, but I haven't been here before either. Okay, here we go. Here's something that looks familiar. Yeah. Right. <sighs> I should have brought a bottle of water for me. I knew this was a volcanic area and that there wasn't any available water. So why the fuck didn't I go get water before I went here? I can literally drink from the lakes. And where there's water, I should have a station right next to it, I think. Or a teleporter right next to it, I think. There we go. Should be right over here somewhere. Should be, could be, might be, isn't. 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 Did you hear that? Hmm. I just swear I heard a door opening. And you know how I feel about that. I want to mark them. Have that and that. Then we have rocket engines. They need to go upstairs. 
That one's full. That one's... Oh, I can sell them. Okay, I didn't know that. But it actually reminds me, I should probably uh, highlight my uh, order in something else because I'm about full here, so I can actually do that. I'm gonna buy something. A living compartment. That's actually not that expensive considering how much space you're getting, but that is not very useful. What I'm more interested in is the drone technology. Lux store case or storage tier 2. That just sounds interesting, but I don't know if it is. Frogs. Those are, well, technically good, but do I really want them? I mean, they're also expensive. And I can't afford them, so that's fine. I should actually also try this one out, because I have things to spare, I just realized. Super alloy. Let's take it into what I can only describe as my living room, basically. Because as long as I'm living, I will not stay in here. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but... This is really the room I have spent the less time in, in the game. There we go. Ah, that almost looks nice! Wow! <laughs> that actually is pretty cool. It can't be autom- it cannot be automated, sadly, but that is actually pretty cool. Flower. Chocolate. Birthday cake. Oh my god, that's interesting. Okay, uh, I need iron. Where do I get iron? It is a bit late to celebrate, I guess, because I've been playing this game for over a year now, but... Hey. Birthday cake. Normally I don't really celebrate birthdays, but hey, I am. Oh, cake. There we go. There we go. There we go. It will take a very long time because I don't exactly have an assembly line up for wheat and uh, cocoa because I don't really use it at any point for anything. But hey, it's the thought that counts. What I was thinking about doing now was to get the necessary resources. I still need to figure out how the hell to make cores, because apparently I've forgotten how to make cores. There, fusion energy cell. They changed the recipe. I hate it when they do that. You're not allowed to change your recipe, even though it's your game. Is there anywhere I can put this? Here. Make. Thank you. We have the two cores, now I need stuff for a teleporter. A shelter and some water. The water I already have with me. For teleporter, what does it require? Three quartz, or will, three quartz, one th, one osso, and one alloy rod. Well, super alloy rod. One th. What else? I kind of got disturbed because I decided to beep in my ear holes. Stop doing that, game. Stop making spooky noises in my ear holes. I don't like that. I don't approve of it. I don't consent to you whispering stuff in my ear that's very, very loud and scary. Let me just go drink from a freaking lake. Right. Now we have to teleport us. Now it's just the shelter. So we have our shelters. We have our teleporter. We have our water. And we have the cores. So we're basically ready to go explore, though I, if I want to be smart, I should actually bring enough iron to build a, build a box over there, not a box, a closet. Why? Because then I can just empty my inventory in that one and not having to go back and it will automatically solve or change most of it. And I actually need to do a thing here, it's very important. There. It's very important I do this to all of my things, now that I, I just remember. I'm 
I'm doing a very important thing here. Just say, don't don't question what it is. It is just very important. Trust me when I say it's very important. I'm renaming everything to so it starts with Alpha because I want everything to start with Alpha on this location because I am the one, the one who doesn't need a gun to get respect or something like that. I can't even develop the gun on this planet. Hmm. There we go. Everything needs to be called something with Alpha and then have two things that start with S or two words that both start with S and there's a very specific reason for that. I'm not going to tell you though because that's just how it is. I don't need to explain anything here. It does it doesn't have to make sense to anyone else. My goals are beyond your understanding. Why everything has to start with an A, then an S and another S. I was very afraid the game was about to crash and die on me. It decided not to and I decided not to murder it. In return. I'm a very nice guy. I mean, to be fair, the game did just load in a fuck ton of lava and uh, volcanoes, so I guess that's kind of what you would expect from a game. Oh, lives on a pineapple under the sea. I almost fell through my knee. Well, will you look at that? Let me just note down this coordinate here then. Because we have, we need to focus one time thing at a time. 866, 88, minus 420. Uh, good. And normally I would of course build something here so I could find the location again, but this isn't that time. We're going for the ship over here. But hey, whatever crew was aboard in that one might have survived by building over here. The question is, was all this here back then? Why did they decide to build a shelter in the most toxic environment that could probably be fabricated on this planet? This area. Oh yeah, I need to build my shelter out here. Just here, right here. And technically I would have liked to uh, highlight it as well with a uh, solar panel as I normally do, but eh. Beggars can't be choosers. Normally I just put down the storage crate, but because this is like the newest location, this is also where I expect there will be the most stuff. Oh yeah, I need to teleport in here as well. Which is why I haven't spared the expense and just built two. This one is going to go unnamed though, because I it might not stay here for long. Why can't I build it in there? There we go. Here we go. All right. I got my food. Well, that's all. Oh, I got my inventory. Some food items. Now it's time to loot. We are basically the orcs here. Why can't I take these of all things? Why can't I take these terminals specifically? Oh well. That is where we were before. Got it. Got it. Got it. Here's the thing. All it does is open doors, usually. But hey! Oh, and it also powered up the ship, so now we actually have the red light. Nice. Again, we haven't seen anything of this ship bef before, so we need to see everything here. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, we were here. But we were here before. Makes sense, I guess. I am invincible. That door has a straight up view to the lab, but that's actually kind of cool. 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 Cool, 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 cool. I can bring you with me. Hooray! Free stuff. Free stuff for me. Yeah, I don't want freaking mushrooms with me now, do I? Already been here, it seems. You, 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 and you. Oh, and uh, you. 
you, you, and you. And what are you? You have a lot of stuff, and I can't take more, the majority of this, but I will definitely be back for you. All right. We already filled our inventory, so good thing I built a teleporter right outside of the door. And now I'm going to have a hell of a time trying to find it again. Never mind, they put on the red light so I can actually see where I'm going. Sort of. Alright. Have this, have that, have this, have that, have this, have that, have that, 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 and that. Oh, and they're already coming to get some of it. Nice. That means I will definitely fill up my inventory before we go uh, back. Before we go back and sort everything out. Do what you want, because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. You could argue rather not this was actually piracy, but I would say it's just looting. It's more like salvage rights, but it's our goddamn planet. Right? Wait. Oh. No. Nothing. Okay. I'm actually surprised we haven't met anyone here, because a lot of people seem to have crashed on this planet at random points in time. But other than that one person, and maybe some potential skeleton from the one who crashed here 10 years ago, we have not encountered any sense of life at all here, or that there has actually been life here. Beyond the Wardens, which is at an unspecified time in history, so no. Though we know it was at least 500 years ago. I'm actually amazed. This is, like, this is supposed to be a thousand years out in the future. But everything just looks so, well, human. There's a lot of these fuses around. Oh, there they are. Imagine if they actually at some point did implement a freaking monster in here. That would be fun. Well, it wouldn't because that would give me a reason to actually be afraid in this game. But hey, there will also be spoilers. Oh, I've seen you before. Hello. Is there anything even up here? Like upstairs? I'm not downstairs anymore. I'm upstairs. This area is very confusing. There is no reason ever again to go upstairs, it seems. Unless I find something very shortly. I mean, there's a plant, but who cares? Big whoop. Big old nothingness. Okay, let's get out of here. And then I feel like we should empty our inventory before we go for... Stop it, game. I do not approve and I do not consent. Take that and that. Doesn't this mean that it came back? The space station. Or not the space, the trader rocket. Because I have stuff I can sell. Apparently now. Oh, it's already full. Oh, great. We have stuff. Nice. Whee! Right. This already means we have new technologies we can unlock. There's so much going on without a whole lot going on at the same time. Drone tier 2. What exactly does that mean? Does it move faster? Locker storage 2. What does that entail? And why does it look like the autocrafter? If it's storage, it must be down here. There we go. Way bigger storage. Yeah, we'll see about that, buddy. Oh my god, that's so... I was about to say that's so big. Okay. Hmm, that's not what you want to hear from an adult man, though. Alright, um, I need to be very mindful of my things here, because we clearly need to rebuild all our entire system here, and I'm going to invest some time into doing that. What does that mean? That means I'm going to break down some shield or break down some of my areas, rebuild some of my all areas. But this one, is it so small that I can build like three in a row? I don't think, I think it exactly isn't. All right. But I'm curious to it. 
This one can have that, that, and that. Which means I can take this one and break it down. I am not the smartest in the world, but I'm definitely doing something here. This is really something I should do in between episodes, but now I am just excited for it. I'm so excited for building a fucking storage. Storage box. It's so stupid and I'm excited for it. I can actually build a third one right here. Oh, there is actually room for it. Nice. That's going to be so much more space efficient. Two hours later. The entire upstairs has now been reformalized, but I will reformalize it again, just now, or the downstairs, just not now, because right now we have a lot more impressive matters to do. Like exploring that last place I found out there. We're going back to that site, which actually was unnamed. And then we're going to have a look at that thing that was right next to it. Because the one that was right next to it might be important. There was no lore to this one, to this specific ship, at least not as far as I could tell, so... Oh, wait, am I going in circles? Yes, I am. I was going in circles. I got very confused. I somehow managed to confuse myself by walking in circles. It's way too bright out here. I don't like it. Light is not my friend. Light is my enemy. I prefer the dark side any time. The only reason why I have that light turned on is so you guys can actually see me. What would it take for me to build a solar panel? Because I always highlight these areas by building a solar panel right next to it. It's going to require a, a bit of everything, so it's not going to happen this time around. It might happen in between episodes or something. That's a very disappointing start. Hmm. Nice. Wow. Again, geothermal heating. That's the first thing that comes to my mind when I see all of that. Need this. Oh, lore! Yay! This view place is a bit warmer than my last camp, but I'm still extremely cold. It's been two days since I ran out of food. I miss my family. I'm so lonely. I lost all hope. I will have to move out soon. I'm terrified of going outside once again. It's so dark and so cold. That's just three. That's our three years ago, or it's one year ago. And this character, I don't know if that's actually a character we have met before. I'm actually going to write down the name. Because I know where an all shelter that was made by a similar character was. And I'm gonna check out if that was it. These are oxygen flasks that I cannot pick up. This one is inactive, but at least it, How can it be cold here? You have that. How can it be fucking cold here? You literally have Timo thermal heating right next to you. I mean, to be fair, the planet is literally freezing. You, I don't like that you don't have any reason. Also, that there is fucking cool. There we go. You gotta show my appreciation for the game. But now I am captive, bodily in irons in a, in a dungeon and mentally imprisoned in one idea. One horrible, one hideous, one unconquerable idea. I have only one thought, one conviction, one certitude. Condemned to death. I think he lost his fucking mind down here. I hope we don't all find... Well, I actually hope we find a skeleton rather than finding the man wandering around here. Which does make sense because, you know, two days without food or something. I really shouldn't loot his stuff knowing that he might still be around. But where is the body? Like, did he just walk out on the surface and waited to die, or what? Hmm. Anyhow. Yeah, um, that was not a very fruitful venture, but hey, it's fine. Everything beyond actually exploring that wreck was really just a bonus, I guess. Huh. 
again if we go for... Ooh, are those frogs? Out here of all places? Huh. Cool! I got some better frogs, I guess, for my frog culture, because frog, frogs. Frog the frogs. Alright, let's just have a look here if we're missing out of any technologies because it's bound to return in just a moment, right? Honestly, I would have expected to see in a parachute whenever I need to land, but I guess slowly frosting downwards while falling also makes sense. If I stood under it, would that kill me? I need to test that out at some point. I mean, it looks cool, but I don't really want it. It has a lot of stuff that doesn't do a whole lot for me. Maybe this one because frogs, or this one because bugs. I actually think I am falling behind in the bug department. Oh, and this one because animals. But that one also gives animals. But fish are so much better at animals. Oxygen multiplier, I... That would be interesting if I needed oxygen. I don't need oxygen or air. We're going to try this one out though. Customizable bed and sofa. Because that's more stuff to do. I'm gonna do like that. And we're gonna send it off prematurely. Because that means in like six minutes it will be back. With more stuff for me. Yes. I am just burning time right now. I am not afraid to admit that. Yay, it's back. Right, now that we know the rocket is back, let's just go get the things. Yes, they don't really have value, but that's fine. And once we have built these, or looked into these, that also means that now we can actually look into building the Beehive 2. Is it going to be important that I look into the Beehive 2? The answer is no. Oh, I need to use them on the technology board. Who would have known? Customize sofa. Customize bed. Let me actually just check, do any of these have anything other than just blueprint? The answer is no, it's all just referred to as blueprint. Right, if I build a customizable bed, that requires fancy material or fancy fabric. Do I want to waste my effort on fancy fabric though? I actually don't. It's kind of sad that I make a double bed, because there's only me here. The things you do for a fancy bed, I guess. Let's just see now. Don't ask me why the hell I decided that I should... Ooh. Yes. Yes! It was totally worth it. We're going to make the beehive. That means I need to make a bee larvae. I don't remember how to make a bee larvae. But I already have something that looks like a bee. Maybe it will fool the bees into thinking that the bees are bees. Let's hope it requires the rare larvae, because I have a lot of the rare larvae. It requires the uncommon larvae, which is very annoying, but fertilizer, mutagen, and uncommon larvae. I think I already have two of them, because if I don't, we're screwed. I don't. We're screwed. Guess I have to walk around on the surface of the earth until I find one, then. Well, I guess we'll just be walking around here till I find a freaking larvae, because one larvae is not equal to the other, apparently, in this reality. I've seen a lot of them, oddly enough, on the water of all places. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna look around and look for a freaking larvae, because larvae is larvae. Shrek is love, Shrek is life. I've actually always been wondering in this game, why didn't we start out with, like, cellular life forms or bacteria sized life forms why did we start out with insects and why didn't we why did we start off with like butterflies why didn't we start out with like small insects like tiny flies and stuff like that it never made sense to me I mean I guess that's what you would do in a real 
situation like this, but in this situation we decided not to because that would have been effort and that would have been too realistic and scientifically, I guess. I mean, we are making air out of freaking cobalt, so I guess that also makes a lot of sense. Come to think of it, we have actually used bacterial life forms for a long time here. We use them every single time we use a mutagen. But we're not just looking for any larvae, we're looking for the common or uncommon larvae. Why is that such a problem? Because we can fabricate the regular larvae. We can fabricate the rare larvae. We have very little demand for the rare larvae, and we are, have very easy time coming by the regular larvae or common larvae. What we have a very hard time getting are the uncommon larvae because we can only find that one. We cannot fabricate it. And we need that one for basically anything that is any kind of advanced. So what we basically just do here is we walk around near the body of water because very often they spawn like right underneath the water for some reason. I don't know why, but they do. It's kind of weird, but at the same time, oh well. Let's just look around if there was a safe in here. I honestly don't remember if I already checked. That actually makes sense that it would be in here because one of the ladders lead down, I think. Yeah. It was apparently this one. It was apparently this one. Well, that's another thing I can scratch off the list. Which is now empty. There was nothing else on the agenda. Everything from beyond this point till I decide to cut it. It's just me messing around. But we will be playing until I find an uncommon lava. And then I will forcefully radiate it till it mutates into something that isn't just a larvae. Bees! 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 More bees. bees! Bees! I actually wonder if there's another safe in like that one over there, the wreck over there. In front of the labyrinth. Oh yeah, I actually remembered one more thing. That I have found. And that's exactly what I noted down, that is the coordinate, right over here. Because this over here is a shelter that we have seen before, and we have seen it many times that we've been in it before. But, let me just do it like that. But, if we look around, this isn't the right shelter, god damn it. I remembered one of these shelters that I have been in many, many times, now has something else to them. Because they have a row that consists entirely of these big closets. But I got curious and deleted one of these closets. And when I deleted that closet, there was an entire area behind that one. I also think if it's not this one over here, it is one at the other end of the freaking map. Like way out where nothing else is and lives. And if it's not that one, then I will have to give up and find it again some other point. Or add it in the post-edit. Like I always do whenever I find something interesting. Somewhere out here is supposed to be a hole in the ground. With water in it. Is this the one though? Is this the hole in the ground or is it a different hole? That's the question. There's a shelter. Clearly wasn't this one, because this one only has one. And that there was a different guy almost 17 years, well, 17 years before the first one. So obviously, not this one. Got it. In that case, we will be looking for the other shelter at the other end of the map. For the same reasons and the same purposes. Also, we're still looking for an uncommon lava. In the town where I was born, lived a man who sailed to sea. He told us about his life, 
in the left submarine. So we sailed into the sun till we found a sea of green. And we live beneath the waves in a yellow submarine. We all live in the yellow submarine. Obviously not over here because that one is... Yeah, it could of course be over there. That actually makes sense. Yeah, over here somewhere I made a shelter. So go straight west. Maybe a bit to the south really because we are getting close to like the border of the gate. And there's nothing behind those rocks, but that's probably why they're going to make some kind of expansion in the future. Why didn't I note it down? Well, because it actually predates me noting down stuff in this game. There, there it is. How long did it take me to get here and get all this sorted out? Very long. Do I regret it? No, not really. It's nice. There it is. Yeah, here it is. Three boxes. One of them is now gone because I sold it. Well, broke it down. And let's just see what is actually in here. I have not explored. An underground facility. Ooh. Huh. Oh, nice. More technology. And stuff. And things of value. Yes. I will do whatever it takes to quit this planet. I had to dig deep to find the resources needed to build a launch platform. The storm have been less frequent lately. I need to find a big meteor crater and build the platform at the bottom of it in order to be protected from the winds. The magnetic fields on this planet is completely crazy. It's the first time in my life I've seen anything like this. Once again I'll leave this shelter opening I'll be able to make it. Is this the same guy who made the one that is at uh, Strike Alpha or Crash Site Alpha then? Because in that case, this was his uh, 34, see, by the way, 3040. In that case, he might have made it actually. We're going to go to uh, Crash Site Alpha and have a look to see if that is the one. Maybe. I went to the wrong way, didn't I? Yeah, this leads back. This leads back. I found the uncommon lava, that means we can do the bee thing, but we're going down to that shelter anyways, because now I'm dedicated to go to that shelter. Anyways, and if you find more uncommon lavas, that's just great, because that means I have more resources for later use. Because apparently uncommon lava is like the most used one that we cannot just... Huh. We're here now. That's... Interesting and curious at the same time, but also makes sense because it was that direction. Nice. Let me actually just go down to the water and check, or down here and check. I don't exactly have an oxygen bottle, but if I hurry it, I would be able to go there. And let's just see, there is nothing over there. I didn't bring any spare oxygen because I didn't think I would be going on a dive, but the best way to find more stuff is to go to the same places in every edition of the game. They could implement new stuff if they want to, because it's their game. Who would have known? Who would have known? Who would have known? Who would have known? I wouldn't have known. I didn't know. I had no clue. I was just here. Why do I hear the bubbles exactly? It doesn't exactly make sense, because all my air should preferably be stay in. Nothing, 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 nothing. Hang on. Oh, this is the same guy! Hmm. Alright. I thought this was someone else, like the survivors from uh, the crash or something like that, but that actually makes a lot of sense. I honestly almost want someone to make a lore video about this and the timelines and such, because I am actually curious. I can still cannot pick up these, but maybe because they're part of an ordination or decor or something. Hmm. Uh oh, we might actually drown. I just realized that we used all of our time on looking at nothing. Please let me. We're so close. I know it's low. Why doesn't it sell me like a minute in advance? It's fine though, it's fine. We will just make it. It is going to turn black. It's fine. Whew. 
chances are they added something new to this area, which I don't think they did. But now we at least know he's the guy who built the underground shelter. Because we have to know or remember he survived for X amount of years on this planet. Which is good, first of all. But second of all, he wants to get off it, building a rocket. So he saw all of this and didn't care. He probably wanted to build it right here. Because, you know, clear above and protect him from storms and such. I don't exactly see anything new here, and I'm not going to explore because this ground isn't very trustworthy. Right. Back the way we came. Alright. What we're basically going to do now is we're going back and we're going to be building the things. Wait. Yeah, this is just a blueprint. Got it. We're going to go back and build the thing. We're going to go back to our base and build the thing that we were trying to build earlier. Beehive. And that is almost all I have for today. That was even a bonus really because I completely forgot that I could do that thing but I didn't have the resources to do it with anyways. It's kind of how it is with those rare larvae and stuff. I mean, you never have them when you want them or need them. And I almost killed myself by jumping down. Maybe there's more to the other side, actually. We have time to go up and have a look. Sort of. Mostly. I have a teleporter right above this place anyways. Yeah, um, that teleporter is definitely going to be just fine where it's been placed. That really definitely should not be put into some kind of shelter to prevent it from being fucking obliterated. But I am actually curious, is it the same guy who built that one, the shelter down there then? Well, I know I built that one, but is it the same guy who built the shelter on the ground over there then? I feel like someone should maybe make an iceberg video at this game at some point. Just because there are so many things and I'm terrible at keeping track of it. Mostly because I haven't done that. Before. Ball or two. It hasn't been interesting enough for me to do that. This is the same guy, though. It is the same guy. He, this is in between. Question is, did he ever get off this bloody planet? That might be something to add in a future update where he actually does get off the planet. He's kind of weird. Now he says he wants to stay. Then he starts to try and build a rocket deep in a canyon or something. Kind of weird mentality he had or change of mind he had. Twice, it seems. I feel like they all, maybe the developers, I'm not going to fault them of course, forgot uh, how, what mentality that guy had because it seems one point he's alone, then he has friends, then he's alone, then he wants to stay, then he wants to go. Yeah, it's almost an is that we're unsure of what exactly he wanted to do. And I'm still angry that they have removed my rock. Somehow. The entire freaking media decided to just get fucking legs and walk away. What is the secret side anyways? Oh, this one. Yeah, there's kind of a problem when all of your teleportation stations have the acronym ASS in it, but hey. It's not that much of a problem, it's just weird. We need two of those, two of those, two of those, then we need B lava. So let's just get B lava. Yes. It makes you just see. Maybe this blueprint holds something. I don't suspect it does. No more blueprints to decode for now. Got it. They haven't developed the game enough for that. Bit of a shame, but it's a fact. In that case, beehive time. What do I need to build the beehive other than the two bees I just made upstairs? Then I need tree and I need fertilizer. I only need one actually. I just noticed. That's very annoying when that happens. There we go. Alright. 
We now have what it takes to build two of them, right? We do. We can not build them indoors, which I'm actually very happy for. That would be very annoying to deal with. There we go. And there we go. Yay! There's going to be so much honey. I'm gonna live for freaking honey, it seems. Let me just check all the technologies if there's anything here I'm missing out on that I could possibly do. As always, this one seems to produce stuff that is uh, way out in, the out in the future, or it's not really relevant for my game playing skills here. So I think I'm gonna call it a day, more or less. We have done a lot of stuff. The majority of it was technically planned, but some of it I just made up on the fly. So, this has been Nicaron Corksix here, playing Planet Crafter. If you like what's on, watching more, uh, subscribe. All right. So, this has been Nicaron Corksix here, playing Planet Crafter. If you like what's on, watching more, please subscribe to our channel, leave our channel, leave a yeah, leave our channel, take a channel, sacrifice and leave it. This has been Nicaron Corksix here, playing Planet Crafter. If you like what's on, watching more. Please subscribe to- what? What the fuck is the thing I used to say? Please subscribe to my channel, leave a like and or share it with your friends. Until the next, next episode, which I have no idea when will come out. Bye bye, and I'll see you guys around.